Hey what's up everybody, I'm back with a requested video for the Huawei P9. This is a first in the 5 part series. We're going to be taking a look at 5 tempered glass screen protectors to find out which is the best one out there that our money can buy. Today we're going to be taking a look at the quality, ease of installation, cost, support for cases, as well as touch sensitivity. At the end of the series we're going to wrap things up with a detailed comparison of all 5 screen protectors in the same video. Ian in here from Udroid Mania and you're watching my Alclap Tempered Glass Screen Protector review for the Huawei P9. So let's do this. If you're anything like me then I know that you want that full screen protection for your Huawei P9. You've probably been doing your research but not really sure which one to buy. And personally I always start with Amazon, that's my go to store. Being a Prime member that 2 day shipping keeps me coming back. This particular time I stumbled across the Alclap brand. It says here this protector's got the 9H hardness, accurate cutouts, 99% transparency and oleophobic coating. It's bubble free, got rounded bezels and touch sensitivity. Now this protector costs $9.99 on Amazon. It's rated almost 5 stars but there's only 13 reviews so take that with a grain of salt. When it comes to the packaging it's pretty basic. There are some instructions here. And if you're new to installing a tempered glass cream protector I suggest that you read them first before doing the install. Inside you'll find the wet and dry wipes and also the screen protector itself. And before we move on to the install you know that I'd like to show you the adhesive. Well let me clarify that. What I mean to say is that I want to show you the amount of adhesive that's on the protector so that we know what we're getting ourselves into. And with one last look at the instructions we're ready to get this ball rolling. This is a 3 step installation which seems simple enough and I'm also very carefully taking note of step 3 which is pressing in the center. Ok so let's go ahead and start with step 1 which is taking the wet wipe to clean the screen. The goal here is to make sure that you get all the dust, debris or lint or anything that you have on your display off so that it's not trapped up underneath the protector. Take as much time as you need, do this until you're satisfied that the display is clean. Step 2 is to dry the display and I'm using the cloth here that they provided so again I'll wipe and make sure that I've got all the alcohol off the display not leaving any residue. The goal here again take your time and make sure that it's dry. Now I didn't forget about the adhesive so let's go ahead and take a look to see just how much we actually get on this protector. To me it seems that there's a pretty fair amount and just like with the other screen protectors that I've reviewed there's none in the center on this it runs along the top, the bottom and the sides. And since I've already got the protector in my hand, why don't we go ahead and take a look at the clarity. I mean they did say it's 99% transparency right? So why don't we be the judge of that? Right now you're looking at the protector on the right hand side of the screen. As I focus the lens you can see that it is pretty clear. So I'll go ahead and move it over to the left and now back to the right. It looks pretty clear to me but what you can't see is that dot matrix pattern and that's because I've got the camera focused in so tightly because what I really want you to be looking at is the background and just making sure that things are clear. Alright enough said, it's time for the installation. As you've already seen everything's been prepped so when I do the install I concentrate on lining up the cutouts for the Huawei branding as well as the front facing camera and the speaker grill. When I get those perfectly in position I make sure that I've got the sides also lined up correctly because I don't want this thing to be on crooked. When all is well and I'm pretty satisfied then I go ahead and slowly lower down the glass protector and then I usually let that sit for a minute or two just so that I can check things out before actually pressing down in the center. Ok maybe it's not a minute or two maybe it's more like 15 or 20 seconds or so. I give everything the once over and if it's lined up then I go ahead and press down in the center. Given that there's no adhesive in the center I don't really think that this accomplishes anything but it's in the instructions so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Already I can tell you that I do see something going on here and I'll show you what that is shortly but for now let me go ahead and take the dry cloth and wipe off the fingerprints. I also want to make sure that I'm pushing out any air from the center to the edges of the display. Lastly what I'm trying to do here is activate the adhesive so that I get a nice good seal. Alright and with that we're just about ready for you to see how it looks. So far we've touched on cost and now we're starting to dig deeper into quality. This protector is certainly edge to edge as you can see here. When it comes to the cutouts I'll go ahead and say that those are accurate. Also that it's true that the edges are rounded and beveled. So far so good. This glass feels pretty nice in the hand. There aren't any sharp edges and the front facing camera is even open. You're probably thinking wow this protector is pretty nice. But we're not done yet so sit tight. 
Like they say, if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And this is what I saw immediately when I installed the protector. The more you press, the more you see. But for the purposes of this review, we have to keep moving. When it comes to touch sensitivity, there's absolutely no issues here. Even when scrubbing on the very edge of the display, like I'm doing here, there's no issue. And I know I'm going to get this question. I'm using Nova Launcher, so I'll have a link for that down below in the description. When it comes to pinching and zooming, the display is just as responsive as it would be without a protector. And this thing is running buttery smooth. Using any of the normal gestures that you'd use throughout the course of the day aren't going to have any issues or problems. Even when it comes to typing on the keyboard, as you can see here, again, it works flawlessly. I tested out the backspace key as well as the enter key. And I even flip the device into landscape mode. And ignore my typing because I am the typo king, but everything works just as I would expect it to. So far, I'd say this protector is hitting the majority of the right points. Starting with availability, it's on Amazon. Check. It's 10 bucks. Check, check. I'll give it that 99% transparency. The cutouts are accurate. But we did see that rainbow effect. In terms of the oleophobic coating, it is a fingerprint magnet, but that's solved easy enough. See, I take my microfiber cloth everywhere that I go, because I like my phone to look new. Okay, so we're just about done here. Now we're going to move on to the cases and just see how many we can pair this protector with. Right now, I've only got seven or so on deck. So if you want to see more case reviews for the Huawei P9, I need a big thumbs up on this video. First up, I've got a flexible one-piece TPU case by IVSO. I've already done the full review on this case, so I'll leave that link down below. What's great about this case is that it's made of that flexible TPU, and you'll want that because with these full screen protectors, it can wrap up and around that beveled edge. Which is good because that means that you can install this case after you've already installed the protector. It's not tight fitting, so there's no creaking, there's no lifting of the protector here, and everything works just as you'd expect it to. Next up, I've got a very popular case by Spigen. It's the Rugged Armor. It's also made of a flexible TPU, which means that you get that same type of usage from this case as well. Your touch sensitivity is not going to be impacted in the least. You're now also going to get that full protective covering as it relates to impact resistance and lay on the table support. Alright, so that's two down for the owl clap. It's quite possible that we'll be able to forgive that rainbow effect. Next up, we've got one of my favorite cases out of the bunch. This is the Posidonomy Slim Fit. And if you've seen my case review, then you know that this case feels really nice in the hand. This is another one-piece case, but it's made from a TPU as well as a polycarbonate outer. It's not quite as flexible as the Spigen in the IVSO, and it's probably the tightest fitting of the three. Given that I like this case so much, I'm actually glad to see that it does fit here. And take a look at the back of this case, it's awesome. I've never heard of this brand before, but Alclap is looking better and better. Next, we've got the Rinky Fusion. This is another one-piece case. It's kind of a bumper style with a polycarbonate back. It's pretty hard. It's flexible, but close fitting at the same time. Just as with the other three cases before it, again, there's no touch sensitivity issues here. When it comes to scrolling, scrubbing, swiping, pinching, and zooming, everything again works just like you'd want it to. Now we're four for four. Next, I've got a wallet style case. It's by Mulberry. It's got a polyurethane tray that the phone just snaps right in. Just as with all the other wallet cases and full screen tempered glass protectors, there's not any issues at all whatsoever when it comes to touch sensitivity or even installing this case, so I'm not going to spend any more time on it. Lastly, I've got another one of my favorite cases and this is the aluminum bumper case by Lang. I had to install this one off camera because as you can see here, it's got those screws which keeps the case together. So to save that time, I've already done the install. The trick here is to make sure that you don't tighten the screws so tight that they break the screen protector. I've done this before and I've learned from experience, so trust me. Not with this phone, but with my S7 Edge in the same case and a different tempered glass protector. So this here makes case number six and it works just as great as all the others before it. Sadly, I gotta say that I'm out of cases. I can't find that Pierre Cardin case that I reviewed in the case video. So like I said earlier, if you want to see different cases with the next screen protector, thumbs up this video, leave it in the comments below. This way I know to get some more cases in. Alright, so that just about does it for today's video. Again, this is part one of a five part series, so make sure that you come back for the rest. To sum things up for the Alclap protector, let me just say this, that I've left the protector on for a couple of hours now, and the rainbow is actually gone. I'll be using this protector for the next couple of days, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay, so there you have it. We've just finished our review of the Alclap tempered glass screen protector. It's affordably priced, very decent on quality, 
It's got a pretty decent amount of transparency with an oleophobic coating, but make sure you bring that microfiber cloth. I tested six cases and all six work. There is that rainbow effect that we did see after the install, but given everything that we've learned at this price point, I think I can overlook that. If you're new to the channel, now would be the time to go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you get notified for parts two through five. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one.